Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.53 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the Norton equivalent at terminals AD of the circuit in figure 4.119. Okay, so this is the figure and we are asked to find out the Norton equivalent. So what we gonna do is, I think the easiest way to do this problem is, first one, I need to find the Thevenin voltage. Why Thevenin voltage? Because it will be very useful to find out the uh, Norton resistance because we have a dependent current source here. And then the second one, I will find the Norton circuit equivalent, Norton current, I mean. And then the last step that I will use is to find the Norton resistance, which is simple uh, division between VTH and IN. Okay, so I can find out this one. This is an open circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage at AD. And then IN is short circuit current at AB. Short circuit current at AD. Okay, that's good. Okay, now the first step that we need to do is to find the VTH and I think we can just use this circuit as is. So find VTH. Let's use this bottommost node here as our ground. So the voltage here is zero. And then this one is 18 volt from the ground. And then we need to find out what is VA, right? So, what can we do from here is I want to use this node here and this as node C, maybe E, C, okay? And we take a node here that V0 here is the same as VAD, which is the same as VA. So, V0 is equal to VA and what we gonna do is we do KCL at PC but first we assume the direction of the current maybe make it like that good now let's do KCL at not PC KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out good now the current that goes in is this one and this one and for this one i will have 18 minus vc 18 minus vc oh no v0 is equal to vc right yeah this one 18 minus vc divided by Six. Oh, I will use divided by six, and then this one here. So I have plus. This is a current source which is zero point twenty five, but that will be VC. But zero point twenty five is one over four, so I can just rewrite this as VC over four. VC over four. And then another current that goes in, that is, no, no current that goes in. So we we'll put the equal sign and this current is going out. So I will have VC over 3. And then plus, I will have this one here, VC minus VA divided by 2. Good, now multiply both sides by 12. So we will have 36 and then minus 2VC and then plus we will have 3VC and this one will be 4VC and then this one will be 6VC minus 6VA. 
good now let's simplify this i will have 36 on the right hand side and then on the left hand side i will have minus 6 pa this one will be 10 okay and then 10 plus 2 is 12 12 minus t is 9 so i'll have plus 9 pc okay maybe rewrite that let's put the 36 on the right so we will have that one like this and this is equation number one and now let's do another kcl but this time at not a here kcl at not a not pa so the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay uh, the only current that goes in is this one so we'll have pc minus pa divided by 2 and then this current that goes out is p 0.25 p0 but p0 is equal to pc so we will have pc over 4 have pc over 4 and let's multiply this by 2 so we will have uh not not to multiply it by 4 so we'll have 2 pc minus 2 pa and that will equal to pc and so we will have minus 2 pa and then uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so i'll have plus pc and that will equal to 0 and this is equation number 2 we can solve for pa and pc right so now let's do exactly that equation solver is number five two variables is number one and let's plug that in minus six nine and 36 and then minus two and then one and then a zero so we will have pa is equal to three and pc is equal to six pa is equal to 3 volt and then pc is equal to 6 volt good now what is vth vth is vab right but vb is zero so it will be equal to va so vth is equal to va so we will have our vth is equal to what is it 3 volt Okay, this is an important value and maybe let's save this first and our slide is full but we still need to find out another variables here. Let's clean up the board. And now let's move on to the second variables that we need to find out which is IN. So I cleared up the circuit and what we need to do in this part is to find out the short circuit current which is this one. So I'll have I N here and I think I will use KVL here. So this is the loop. So I will have loop I N here. And then this one, maybe let's name this as loop I1. Okay. And then this one here will be 0 0.25 P0, 0 0.25 P0, but then we take a note first what is v0 v0 is i1 minus i n multiplied by 3 right so i will have to plug this into this so i will have the loop here is 3 multiplied by 0 0.25 that will be 0 0.75 and then we will have i1 minus i n okay that is good actually now we can use kvl at i1 and i n okay maybe let's start from i1 let's use kvl at i1 so this is for finding i n 
So KVL F I1. And KVL said that the sum of the current, not current, the sum of the voltage, not current, KVL, that will equal to zero. Let's start from this voltage source. I will have minus 18 and then plus 6 multiplied by I1 there. And then plus, I will have 3 multiplied by I1. But here, IN is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus IN. And all of this will equal to 0. And this can be simplified into 9I1 minus 3IN. And that will equal to 18. Maybe let's save this as equation number 1. And then let's start another KVL, but this time at IN. KVL at IN. Again, the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. Let's start from this 3 ohm. So we'll have 3. I will have IN. But then I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we'll have I one here okay and so i will have plus two then multiplied by i n but then i will have this current here flowing to the same direction here right this is going to the right this is also going to the right so i'll have plus but then the value is this current here 0 0.75 multiplied by i1 and then minus i n okay all of that will equal to zero let's do some arithmetic here so i'll have 3 i n minus 3 i1 and then i will have plus i think i will have 2 multiplied by i n and then plus 0 0.75 i1 and then minus 0 0.75 i n and all of that will equal to 0 and so we'll have 3 i n minus 3 i1 and then plus 2 i n and then plus what is it 2 multiplied by 0 0.75 that is 1.5 1 1.5 1 i1 and then minus 1.5 i n all of that will equal to 0 and let's see here the i1 is came from this one minus 3 plus 1.5 that will be minus 1.5 i n i mean i want minus 1.5 i1 and then what else i n comes from here 3 plus 2 is 5 5 minus 1.5 that will be 3.5 3.5 i n and that will equal to zero good this is equation number two and of course we can solve for two equation right so let's set this up equation solver is number five number one is for two variables and then we will have nine minus three and then 18 and then minus 1.5 and then 3.5 and then 0 so we will have i1 is this part here so we will have i1 is minus 8.33 and the unit is ampere and what is i n i n is the second variable the y part which is 1 ampere a one ampere and so we can get this important value from here okay i think our slide is full maybe we need to find out the third one which is the norton uh, 
resistance and let's clean up the board first and the final thing that we need to find out is the norton resistance so number three the norton resistance we can just divide this so vth divided by i n and that will be three volt divided by one ampere therefore our norton resistance is three ohm and that is good because we now have the two values that is important for answering this question which is norton equivalent this one and this one so let's redraw that so the current source will be one ampere in magnitude and then the norton resistance will be three ohm and this is terminal a and this is terminal b and this is the final answer for this question thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye